welcome back to my channel. So I just finished filming a makeup tutorial on this look right here and it is using the Anastasia Artist Palette because it was requested on Instagram. And then I got a text from my friend saying that she bought a beauty blender but she didn't know how to use it so I decided to film this video for you guys. So this video is going to be how to use the beauty blender and how to properly clean it. Because when I first got my beauty blender, I didn't quite know how to use it and how to get the foundation completely out of it. Because once I did learn how to use it, I was wanting to use it every single day because it's just the best thing ever. But even after I washed it, with no matter what soap that I was using, it just wasn't pulling all the foundation out of it. So I'm gonna show you guys the trick and the only way to get the stains completely out of this beauty blender sponge. So if you guys want to see a demonstration on how to use this beauty blender and how to properly clean it, then please keep watching. Okay, so first things first, you're going to take your beauty blender as is and take it to the sink. We are going to be running it underneath the water and kind of squishing it in our hands about 10 times so that the beauty blender can absorb some water and get to its real size. It is much smaller before we add water to it and it is much denser. Once you add water to it, squeeze out the excess and kind of pat dry it so that it's not soaking wet. It is going to be much easier to use. It is bouncier, it is softer, and it will help to absorb some of the product that might be a little bit extra on your face and when it is dry it won't do that it'll just kind of cake it on so this is the side-by-side -side comparison from before and after we put the beauty blender and now it is ready to use so now it's time to apply our foundation. I like to put it on the back of my hand and warm it up a bit with my finger and then distribute it in sections on my face. I like to start off with my cheeks and then I take the flattest, roundest part of the beauty blender and I kind of dab it onto my face. I'm kind of like bouncing it like a sponge, literally, on my face and it's really going to distribute the product very evenly as well as not making such a thick layer. If you find that you're a little bit heavy handed when it comes to your foundation and it looks a little bit cakey at the end of the day, well, not at the end of the day, but once you're finished doing it, then this will be a great tool for you because it is pretty foolproof and it does absorb any excess product, so it's very hard to go heavy. So I like to work in sections on my face just so that foundation's not sitting on certain areas and drying and setting before I have had the time to blend it out. And do not forget to take your foundation down your neck as a foundation line just is not cute. Okay, so now it is time for concealer. So I am just using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer today and I like to place it onto my face first. And I am going to be doing the upside down triangles underneath my eyes, taking it on my chin at the center of my nose and on my forehead. So I was completely out of focus when I did my first eye, but I like to use the same side of the beauty blender that we used for our foundation to blend out the concealer on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and my chin. I just pat it in just like I did the foundation. And then what I do is I take the pointy side of it and I blend out my concealer. The pointy edge of the beauty blender makes it super easy to get into the smaller areas like around your eyes, which is great. And so I just blend this out as I would any concealer in the spaces that I would blend out the concealer. Don't bring it out too far. And then the cool thing about this is that because you blended out your foundation with this as well, you can kind of take the bottom of it with the foundation color to make sure that the concealer blends into the rest of the face. So now I'm going to show you how to set your concealer with the Beauty Blender. I'm just using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, taking my Beauty Blender, dipping it into the lid with product on it, and placing that wherever I put concealer. Now this method is called cooking or baking right now, but I did not use the same amount of product that somebody would use if they were using that technique. I'm just placing it in the areas of my face that I had my concealer, not too much, and then I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush brush that I would normally use to set my concealer if I'm not using a beauty blender to kind of wipe away the excess and make sure that everything is even. So the coolest thing about this tool is that you can use it for wet or dry products. So now I'm going to show you how to set the rest of my face. I am using the Australis powder and the bigger side of my beauty blender, taking some powder on the back end of it and just kind of pressing it into my face like I did with my foundation. And because we didn't have such a thick layer of foundation because the Beauty Blender absorbed the excess, when we put the powder on top of it, it is not going to look too heavy or cakey. So now that my base is completed, now it's time to show you how to wash this thing. 
So this is what my beauty blender looks like right after I finish using it and I'm going to show you two methods on how to wash it. So the first thing you can do is you could take some sort of shampoo, baby shampoo, you know, Dawn dishwasher soap, something like that, and you can wash the beauty blender and it will clean it, but it will not take out the stains. So first things first, I'm going to show you how to clean it with a liquid soap just so you can see the difference on how this comes out and how it turns out when I use another soap that I will reveal to you just in a moment. So I'm just going to be putting the soap on my hand, putting the beauty blender into it, kind of massaging it with my hands, getting it nice and sudsy, and then taking the soap out of it. And look, you'll see that the beauty blender just still isn't stain free. It is clean, you can use it again, it's not going to break you out, but there is some product still stained, soaked into this. So I'm going to be using the Beauty Blender Cleansing Solid and I swear to you this is the only damn stuff that will take the stains out of this Beauty Blender. So I'm just taking the Beauty Blender and I'm kind of rubbing it on whatever sides have the stains on it into the solid, massaging it in my hands, squeezing out the foundation that might be in it, kind of rinsing it off in the water to take out anything else and then you will see magically how this Beauty Blender Solid takes out every single stain in this beauty blender. I swear to you, I was getting so frustrated. I couldn't figure out how to get the stains out. And then I actually tried the solid that comes with the sponge. And it is the only thing that gets the stains out. Like, do you see what I'm talking about? It's kind of annoying that you have to only use their product, but what can you do? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos. If you guys have any video suggestions, then please leave them in the comments below because I would love to film a video for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.